Today I was looking through my photography portfolio and I started to realize, man, my photos look too good. There's just so much detail and sharpness and color accuracy. If I wanna be a legitimate artist, I can't have my work looking this good. I need it to feel a little bit more natural, organic, film-like. If I wanna be a true artist, I don't need a top of the line camera and lens. I need to make my own lens. Now the way a normal lens works is you have glass elements that focus light onto a sensor or onto film inside of the camera. Now obviously I have no idea how to make a glass lens, but I can make something far more simple and that is a pinhole lens. The whole idea of a pinhole lens is that we don't have the ability to bend light using glass, so instead we create an incredibly small opening for the light to enter and the light is entering all from one direction. And because it's coming from that really small hole, you can actually get a somewhat decent image on your sensor without any glass at all. Now, of course, the downside to a pinhole lens is that we have no control. We don't have the ability to focus the shot at all. We also don't have the ability to change our aperture or how much light is entering the camera. And because this opening is so small, we're not gonna be getting much light either, so a tripod is probably a must. Now, the easiest way to create a pinhole lens or pinhole camera is to just use the body cap that came with your camera when you bought it. For the first test, I grabbed the smallest drill bit I own and I simply drilled a hole right in the middle of this cap. Here's what the footage looks like. All right, how do I look? A little blurry? I think we need a smaller hole. Obviously this hole is too big. So I drilled an even larger hole and then I went around the house using different materials for our lens. Now, if you're looking for a lens that will last a little while, I would suggest using an aluminum can, but I actually preferred the aluminum foil. There's no doubt that it's not going to last very long and you're going to be constantly rebuilding it, but I liked that each little piece that I made created slightly different images, and I was also getting some really cool multi-exposures by poking multiple holes in a single piece of aluminum foil. Basically, all you have to do is throw a few extra pieces of aluminum foil, some tape, and a safety pin in your camera bag, and anytime this foil breaks on your lens, you can easily rebuild it. And it also gives you the ability to quickly experiment while you're on location. So now that I have my handmade hipster lens, it's time to go outside and make some blurry art. As expected, the photos in color weren't really doing it for me, but all you have to do is make them black and white to reveal the true artistic genius. So I am just walking around the beach here, purposefully taking blurry shots. Um, I'm not sure anything's really turning out that's worthwhile, but I'm having fun and I think that's what matters. I've been here a million times before with super expensive cameras and lenses, but uh, this time it feels like I'm making something handmade, you know? Feels a little bit more special maybe. Now I did this whole thing as kind of a joke, but honestly, when I went outside and I started shooting, I kind of enjoyed myself. Check out this crazy lens flare. If I just put my hand out here and kind of block the sunlight, it looks really cool. Now for the last decade, I've been giving all of my film shooting friends crap about you know, spending extra money to shoot film because it's romantic or analog or handmade or whatever. And I'm like, I could just take my perfect looking images and blur them in Photoshop and add grain and they would look just like your film images. And they're like, you don't understand Lee. And I must admit, shooting with this lens has kind of brought out my inner hipster a little bit. It was exciting to see what shooting through Reynolds wrap would actually do. Each image that I took was a little surprise. And then when I got back into Photoshop afterwards, I noticed even more detail. From a professional photography standpoint, there is no reason to do this but you absolutely should. Because this little mod only takes five minutes and you might be really surprised with what a pinhole and a piece of aluminum foil can do for your photography. Wait a minute, do not leave yet, I need your help. We are trying to grow this YouTube channel up to one million subscribers, we're very close. But man, we could really use that little clicky click that you guys have right in front of you now. So give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a bell notification. 
don't even know if I've ever done that before, but you definitely should do that. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna become a professional photographer, like I am with my pinhole camera, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. We have full link tutorials that we've done with much more legitimate photographers than myself. Check them out. I think you will enjoy them.